The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Today's broadcast. The National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia thanks French President Emmanuel Macron. Elma Atta's declaration. On the website of the state television of Western Armenia, a new section for obtaining citizenship of Western Armenia. François Xavier Bilamin's speech in the European Parliament. Greek Defense Minister Nicolas Dendias paid tribute to the Ternagabert Memorial. The modern Turkish alphabet was created by the Armenian Hakob Martayan. Vance Vanished World Wine Festival is an opportunity to appreciate the Armenian book and literature. In 2024, on February 21, the funeral ceremony of Misak and Melanie Manishan took place in the Pantheon of Immortals in Paris. During the ceremony on the front part of the Pantheon was put down date 1915 with the following indication Armenia. The map was depicted to of the Genocide Committee against Armenians in Western Armenia. For the first time, France condemned the genocide against the Armenian nation carried out by the Turkish government. In Western Armenia in 1915 on May 24, describing it as a new crime against humanity and civilization. We express our deep gratitude to the President of the French Republic, Mr. Emmanuel Macron, for presenting and confirming all this at the highest state level. Our respect to the heroes who struggled in all times. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia, Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. Recently, it is announced in many platforms that the leaders of Baku and Yerevan have confirmed their loyalty to the 1991 Declaration of Alma Alta and Territorial Integrity of Armenia. Western Armenia TV once again analyzed the issue whether the document on the creation of the CIS, including the 1991 December 21 Alma Alta's declaration from the point of view of international law can be seen as Armenia's agreement to the fact that Artsakh is the territory of Republic of Azerbaijan. Thus, it is necessary to make the following three important records. The first, after the genocide against Armenia, the Soviet Armenian went out of the occupation of the Soviet Army in 1920, the Republic of, we of Armenia, including Western and Eastern Armenia. Second, at the high time of separation between the armies of the Kemalists and the Soviets. This division was the subject of signing several illegal treaties when the Republic of Armenia was still occupied. The second one, Artsakh, which was an integral part of the Republic of Armenia in 1920 after the Soviet influence of the South Caucasus on June 12, 1921. The government of Soviet Azerbaijan announced that they recognized Nagorno-Karabakh, Zangezur, and Nakhichevan as part of Soviet Armenia. The third, however, with the support of Commissioner Yosef Stalin, Azerbaijan once again claimed to achieve Karabakh. The Caucasian Bureau of the Communist Party of Russia, under the pressure of Stalin and against its previous decision and the will of the people of Karabakh, decided to annex Karabakh to the Soviet Azerbaijan as an autonomous region. The fourth, Western Armenia recognized in 1920 in the struggle preserve its territorial integrity still considers Artsakh an independent part of its territory. The five, Alma Ata's declaration as such did not impose any international legal obligation on the former Soviet Armenia towards Baku, because Baku until 1993, September 24, was not a member of the CIS. Baku in 1991 signed both the Alma Ata Protocol and the declaration in Alma Ata in December 21. President of Baku, Mutalibov, by signing those documents, directly violated the decision of the Baku parliament, according to which Baku's accession to the CIS was not considered appropriate. The Baku parliament, which adopted this decision after discussions, demanded that in the second point of the same decision to define the statue of the Unite of the Armed Forces of the Soviet Union stationed in the territory of Baku in accordance with the Constitutional Act on the Independence of the Republic of Azerbaijan and other Baku Acts, and offered Mutalibov to negotiate with the cooperation of independent states about the withdrawal of Soviet troops from the territory of Baku. In order for the document signed by Mutalibov to become legally binding for Baku, it was necessary that either the Almayata Protocol or the agreements establishing the CIS be ratified by the Baku Parliament. However, the Baku Parliament in 1992, on October 7, directly rejected the ratifications of the CIS agreement. The sixth. A reference to Elma Eta's declaration on the territorial integrity of Eastern Armenia is 
intended to distort the legal history of Armenia and put an end to the issue of Armenian rights to Western Armenia due to the consequences of the genocide against the Armenian nation. You can get familiar with all controversial points of Almaty's declaration on the website of Western Armenian TV. To acquire citizenship of the Republic of Western Armenia, the website of the Western Armenia State Television already exists. On the website of the State Television of Western Armenia, there is a new section for obtaining the citizenship of Western Armenia. The State Television of Western Armenia is pleased to inform its viewers that it has become easier to acquire a citizenship of Western Armenia. You can already fill out your online application in the new special section of the following link. Anyone whose ancestors are from Western Army or who survived the genocide can become a citizen of the Republic of Western Armenia. Let's remind that Western Armenia is active in international organizations to protest the rights of the indigenous Armenian people. The Republic of Western Armenia has diplomatic relations with other states as well. Each of you can play a great role in the passing the difficult path for having one common Armenia. Yarablur is an Armenian military cemetery where the graves of thousands of 20-year-old youths are buried who died as a result of Azerbaijan aggression. This was announced by C. Deputy François Xavier Bellamy in his speech in the European Parliament. On February 26, the ambassador of Azerbaijan to the European Union, Begiv Sadikov, wrote, Since 1992, Armenia has been ruled by bloodthirsty fascists. They will remain fascist until they appear in Yerablur. Yerablur is the Armenian military cemetery where the violence in Baku has condemned thousands of 20-year-olds in recent years. They ask for nothing but to live peacefully in the land of their nation. After destroying Artsakh, Baku today threatens the territory of the Republic of Armenia. Yerablur is also looking at our direction. If Ali feels entitled, it is because after the siege, displacement and ethnic cleansing of the civilian population aggression, cluster bombs, the European Commission declared him a reliable partner and bought more, yes. Why wouldn't he feel entitled to anything? Dear colleagues, it is time to finally act and understand that Europe no longer has the right to remain silent. It is time to tell Mr. Sadikov that Europe is not in Baku, that it is the side of democracy and freedom that the civilization we share with Armenia, that he is in the place where I will visit and from where I have not returned the same. Europe is confused. François Bellamy's speech in Armenia, Russian and Turkish, English and French variants are available on the YouTube page of Western Armenian TV. Greek Minister of Defense Nicolas Dendias paid tribute to the memory of the victims of the genocide at the Tizarnagabert Memorial Complex. On March 4, the Minister of National Defense of Greece, Nicolas Dendias, visited the memorial complex for the victims of the Armenian genocide and paid tribute to the memory of the victims. This was reported by the press service of the Minister of Defense of Eastern Armenia. The minister laid a red at the memorial and laid flowers at the eternal flame that commemorates the victims of the genocide against Armenia. The modern Turkish alphabet was created by an Armenian, Hakob Martayan. In occupied Western Armenia, they are actively trying to hide the fact that the greatest contributor to the Turkish alphabet was an Armenian. But sometimes they can no longer hide the role of Hakob Martayan, who was one of the few Armenians who managed to survive and escape the genocide against the Armenians. Mustafa Kemal commissioned him in 1923 to deal with the changes of the old Turkish language and adapt the language to all the rules of the Latin alphabet. Due to Martayan, the modern Turkish language has today's appearance. Through his reforms, the Turkish language had a more understandable alphabet, which became easier to learn. In addition, the famous Armenian linguist became Mustafa Kemal's advisor on the linguistic culture and other issues. His role was simply invaluable. Martayan served to create the Turkish constitution to change the Arabic alphabet to the Latin alphabet. In addition, the famous Armenian linguist became Mustafa Kemal's advisor on the linguistic culture and other issues. His role was simply invaluable. Martayan served to create the Turkish constitution to change the Arabic alphabet to Latin alphabet. The escaped world of fun was organized by the Cultural Committee of the Armenian Union Area 10 
Sikchan Museum, Iranian, Armenian, and Iraq Armenian Kuwaiti Unions. New Generation Cultural Union, Turkey Young Cultural Union, and the National Armenian Studies and the Research Associations Partnership. The event took place on February 25 in the evening in the Rand Dink Lecture Hall of the Istanbul Armenian Union. Union members, friends, supporters, press officers, representatives of cultural associations, educators, and book lovers were present as well. The chairman and the trustee of the Cultural Committee of the Union, Dr. Hovani Sangulak Avetikian, then handed over the speech to the hostess of the day, Hilda Adilach. The hostess spoke about the goals of this and similar events and emphasized the importance of preservation and dissimulation of the Armenian book and its importance in the Armenian reality. The hostess spoke about the goals of this and similar events and emphasized the importance of preservation and dissimulation of the Armenian books and its importance in the Armenian reality. The offer of Seb Tokat ad addressed a word of gratitude to the organizers of the evening and then presented information about the world of Venn with video slides. In this book, the offer while studying the geographical, ethnographic and cultural peculiarities of the region included from the pagan period to the period of the Ottoman Empire. In the preface of the book, Dogat states that Venn left a great impression on his heart, writing as follows, as if there was an odyssey of searches in the literature of history, the fruit of which was this book. Harut Davtian and Hofseb Nalbandian conducted an impressive interview with the offer. The artistic part was provided by Hasmi Karutunyan performing folk songs. After Ginezon, Dr. Avetikian pr presented the offer, but with the recognition of his book, then the attendees enjoyed refreshments and purchased copies of the book, the proceeds of which were donated to the Ven Charitable Fund to benefit needy teachers in Armenia. This book bears the stamp of an intellectual loving and painstaking work, for which we warmly congratulate the author. This was all for today. Goodbye. Shabdi